I've always struggled to sleep during normal hours. For some reason, when evening comes, that's when I feel the most alive. And for the longest time, I felt so guilty about it. Kinda ashamed even. Why? Because from childhood, we told that the functional world, you know, the one where people are successful, needs you to wake up at 5 a.m. or even earlier. Yo, yo. What's up, guys? Gudo here. In today's video, I will show you a behind the scenes of what a productive day in the life of a night owl looks like. You always hear those stories, yeah? How Mark Wahlberg wakes up at 2.30 a.m., The Rock at 3.30 a.m., Maya Angelou at 5.30 a.m., and Benjamin Franklin at 5 a.m. So you, who maybe goes to bed around the time when these crazily successful people wake up, are bound to feel like a failure. I've personally struggled with this a lot, until late in 2020, November to be exact, when I decided to try something different after reading Atomic Habits by James Clear and Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. All I knew going in was that I wanted a few things to happen consistently in my day to day. To sleep for a minimum of 8 hours, to eat at least 2 healthy meals because I'm not big on breakfast, to drink at least 2 liters of water a day, to create something every day, to exercise at least 3 times a week, to worry less and to learn something new every day. Having tried the 5am thing a while back for about 3 months and completely hating it, I decided to listen to my body instead and this is how it has evolved since then. I usually wake up at 11.30am. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. I'm the laziest guy on earth, yeah? <laughs> the first day I did this, I was immediately filled with panic. <laughs> Because I kept imagining how much judgment Mark, The Rock, Maya Angelou, Benjamin, and maybe even you who's watching this would have for my waking time. Insert nervous emoji here. <laughs> but remember that part of my goals is to worry less, yeah? So I wake up and do the first thing I've always wanted to do for the longest time, which is to start my day with a 30 minute read from 11.30 to 12 p.m. This is different from how my regular wake-up routine used to be. That is, browsing social media or first checking my emails and messages. At 12 p.m., I leave bed, drink my first glass of water, then hit the office for my first work session, which is usually two hours of writing, shooting, or editing, depending on where I'm at in the creative process for these videos. p.m. I leave my little home studio, have some more water and hit the kitchen to make my first meal of the day. This is usually a mixture of three whole eggs, a bowl of oats with a tablespoon of peanut butter and some extra peanuts or chia seeds. Then four slices of bread also with peanut butter and a mug of milk. Or when I have more energy, it's a chicken breast curry, white or brown rice or sweet potatoes and simple steamed broccoli. <laughs> By the way, P.S. These are the only things I can make without burning the house down. <laughs> I then have the meal between 2.30 to 3.30 on most days. I also have this habit of watching a show, a show I love like crazy, as I wolf down the lunch. Today, it was um, a million little things. I don't know if you've heard of it, but I love that thing to death, man. Wow. <laughs> then at 3.30, I get back to it, to the second work session this time getting cracking on freelance branding jobs till about 5 p.m. In between there somewhere, I'll add in another glass of water around 4 p.m. because you know, health, yeah. At that 5 p.m., I drop everything and just get into my workout clothes before I have the chance to think twice. From 5 to 7, it's the recommended routine workout that I discovered on Reddit and made a section about it in my last video. the workout and then get my long relaxing shower. From 7 to 8 p.m. 
it's dinner and again another episode of something something i love again yeah this time it was another one of my favorites chicago pd from 8 to 10 pm i get back to shooting filming or editing this time really kicking into gear because i get a boost a really really big boost after working out and having dinner you could say that this is when i come alive basically yeah <laughs> from 11:30 to 1 am i either continue shooting filming or editing or learn something on skillshare i'm currently taking a course on how to film yourself by nathaniel drew which is just blowing my mind because i never thought i'd be that guy was taking this course but here i am yeah <laughs> and it's been amazing so far from 1 to 2:30 am i catch up on what my favorite creators have been up to on youtube then watch one last show right now i'm back to my obsession which is the office this is one of the only shows that's made me laugh so hard so hard guys <laughs> i actually end up in tears even when i really watch it but we good over the gums and through the lips look out stomach here we go <laughs> <laughs> and from 2:30 to 3:30, remember how I said that um, reading has changed my life? It's how I close out my day for the last hour. Reading from my phone with the night shift setting turned on to reduce blue lights because of getting better sleep. Yeah. And then from 3:30 to 11:30, I turn in for the night for my eight hours of sleep. doesn't always go according to plan yeah life always always happens yeah like when there's a freelance job that needs you to wake up a bit earlier or when you need to run errands at places that frown upon night or hours when life and responsibilities randomly throw me out of my routine or when i hit burnout and i just need a day you know adjust and readjust i somehow always 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 find myself coming back to this routine it's where i felt the most at peace mentally physically and emotionally as a night owl this is not to say that waking up early is bad or any kind of wrong very very far from it i just think that it doesn't have to be the only way to get to where we want to go you know after a year of doing this I thought I'd have lived it by now and I've probably been banned or banished <laughs> from society as some sort of madman yeah? or some sort of waste man who sleeps so late doing god knows what and wakes up even later to do more of the same. <laughs> But none of that has happened and in fact I've gotten more done in the last two years than I have when I tried the 5am thing two years back. So here I am waking up at 11.30am and sleeping at 3:30 a.m. not because i think we can't be productive during the day but because i've embraced that i'm most productive at night when it's 12:30 a.m. and i'm in my little studio creating listening to mzansi house as i do it dancing a little here and there as i do it to me this feels like flying and to me that's enough because sometimes it takes having that self awareness and leaning into yourself to truly see what you're capable of all right that's it for today till next time i love you take care of yourself <laughs>